This is the cab area where they were repairing the cab before it is set on the boiler. This next picture shows the boiler and sitting on the mainframe, getting ready to finish up that locomotive, get it ready for service. The cab's been put on. They're beginning to apply the uh, insulation around the boiler. And as soon as they get the insulation on, then the coppersmith puts the uh, jacket on that holds the insulation in place. And here they've started the insulation. You can see it on the bottom of the boiler, how it's beginning to take shape. And here the insulation has been put on and they've started the jacket work from the front of the locomotive back to the cab. Now here they are, they're making ready to move the tank over to the bay area to attach it to the steam locomotive when they get ready to take it outside for testing. Here the jacket works complete, the cab's on, and now they'll start the process of painting and finishing up the machinery. Then they'll move it down to the outbound track where they will complete the final overhaul. This is some more pictures of the sh machine shop area where they're manufacturing different parts, bearings, bushings, drill presses and things that all it takes to make a lo locomotive work. Here they are moving the tank to the 408, back to the bay area so they can get it attached to the boiler of the 408. This is a picture of the large lathe that turned the wheels and axles on the steam locomotive. And here you see all the wheels in place on the outbound track to set the boiler on. Here the 180 ton crane has come over getting ready to pick up the 408 to move it to the outbound track and getting it ready to put the wheels under it. Here they shove the 408 tank outdoors, getting it ready. And then there's a, the 180 ton crane has that 408 in there and they're moving it down to the outbound track. And in this next picture, you see them putting the wheels under it. They set that engine boiler right down on those wheels. You see the 180 ton crane still has a hold of it. And here it is. The 180 ton crane has done its part. The locomotive is sitting there, finishing up, tuning up, getting it ready for steam. And this is one of the last pictures before it leaves the shop for testing. The tank is filled with water and oil and all the lubrication takes place and whatever's necessary to make it ready. Now here it is outside being tested. You can see the steam coming out of the safety pops and of course the smoke coming out of the smokestack. The engine was ready, getting ready for service. This last picture shows it out on the main line being tested before it's released for general service. And this was a passenger service as soon as they released it. And this is a, one other of the 408 after it was completely overhauled. This, this picture was, was made in 1923 of the opening of the shops. 
Here you see the 180 ton crane with a locomotive in the air. And of course this bay area was where the other engines were get, waiting for different repairs. It gave you kind of a eerie feeling to, to know what had once been and just to be an empty building now with the pigeons flying around and no noise. You see, back in the steam engine days, there was a lot of noise in that back shop. And that was one of the things that uh, a lot of people didn't go for us, the noise that a boilermaker would make, driving rivets and that sort of thing. And there was a saying there, well, how long has he been working here? And he says, well, he hadn't been here long enough to get used to the noise. <laughs> but, uh, and a lot of people didn't stay on account of it. Uh, they, they just, it was, it was a noisy place. I still recognize the old cranes that, from the 180 ton crane that picked up the locomotives and could set them in any area of the floor side of the shop. Because a lot of hard work went on in here, but not much left of the old building. It's uh, seen its day. A lot of people came and went through these doors, through this building over the years. Not many of us left.